babe. Hey. What happened? <clears throat> what? What happened? You're in here alone. I knew you were in here alone. I didn't even go upstairs. I just sensed you. Mm -hmm. Nicole. What's wrong? Please go to the diary. Well, we talked to Victor for both mm -hmm. of us. It didn't go well. <clears throat> but I pretty much sealed my fate so you could stay. What? That just made me sick to my stomach. Well, I'll be sick. Sure. I can't be in this game without you. So what happened? I mean, I, I gave it to him straight, you know, like <sighs> a lot of reasons why, you know, I did what I did and then, um, but I told him I was just pretty much like, you know, Natalie didn't really want any part of you going home, Victor, so don't take it out on Natalie, please. Like, you know, like, I'll go home. It is what it is. Like, I decided to flip on you guys. I sent you home. And, um. But he knows I was going after Paul. Hmm? He knows I was going after Paul, his best friend. Well, he didn't bring that up. I was just explaining the fact of, I was explaining the reasons why we voted him out. Or, I mean, I voted him out. You told him about the final four? I told him about the final four and everything. And what did he say? He said, he, I think maybe Nicole and them already knew, told him. Mm -hmm. Because when I told him, his whole thing was, he says, was this final four before or after Polly? Like, he mm -hmm. came at me like this, like yeah. that fast. And I was like, it was after Polly left. Mm -hmm. And he said, all right, well, I could see if you had a Final Four with Corey and Nicole before Polly mm -hmm. and you stuck to them, that's different. Yeah. But if he said that the fact that y'all made that after that we were working to get Polly out, and then he said he felt like we used him to get, to Polly, get, out. To get Polly out and then jump ship yeah. on him. You know, he said, that's understandable. Well, I told him, I said, listen, I'm not arguing, not denying the fact that I deserve to be on the block, but... I was like, I was like, uh, did I feel you tell like, him what Nicole and Corey told well, us about him if he stays? I told him that right when they were walking up. Corey and Nicole were coming up stairs and they came up together. They said they were going to bed, they were leaving. I was up there for like 10 minutes by myself. And then I started talking to Victor. And then as soon as I got all that stuff out, Final Four, da da da. You know, he's going to tell them everything you told I, him. I, I actually told, I, I was in front of him. Corey and Nicole, when they were up in the room, I said, hey, like, just give Nat a heads up, please. You know, if you're going to put her on the block, you know, at least give her a heads up. Um, and from what Victor was saying after I talked to him, he was pretty much saying that he said that um, I'll explain it to her if I decide to go there, that, you know, she's not the target. And I said, well, I, would, I, said, I said, I appreciate that. And um, I said, just, just know that, like, you know, Natalie wanted to keep you, like, I went against her. This was, you know, because I was, I thought I was protecting my final four, my final four for people. And, um, and I said, you know, I'm not, they I'm not trying. They have been team talking. Hmm? See, now they're all working together. Yeah. And I, and I, and I told him, I was like, like, listen, I don't have nothing to hide. I just like, for love of the game, I'm coming up here. I'm just putting everything out on the table. These are the reasons why this happened, this happened. And he was like, him and Paul was like, oh, well, that makes, he said, that actually makes sense. Why now? He said, mm -hmm. I, we understand. We, we just didn't understand why all of a sudden, you know, you voted out Victor and like, you know, you just went, it, went against him or whatever, him and Paul or something. And um, I said, well, I said, that's why. I said, I was being loyal to Corey and Nicole, and, um, you know, and he, he just explained, you know, his side and said, you know, it was after the fact that Polly went home, so he felt like it was a betrayal, a betrayal to me, to him, to, from mm -hmm. me, that I, if I did that, which I told him I did, mm -hmm. and, um, and I told him I was like, I'm not going to be doing no with Michelle or, you know, trying to shit on you, like, bro, like, you know. My back's up against the wall. Um, my game's in your hands. And um, then I told him about the, uh, 
you know, uh, um, what, you keep. what's that, uh, thing that you just said? If you keep them here, you're going to hand them the half million dollars. Yeah. I said, uh, cause he brought something up about Corey and I said, yeah, I said, uh, I was protecting them and Corey came in here, literally laid on my, on the front of the bed and said, if I, if I vote to, if I keep Victor, we're going to be handing him $500,000. And as soon as I said five hundred thousand dollars, Corey Locked popped in. the door open. Yeah, <laughs> that was the end of that conversation. And Nicole and then plop right down on the bed. Yeah, I should have won this HOH. I would have put Nicole and Corey right up. But I think Vic, um, from what it sounds like, like I think Victor wants um, he's going to want me to go home this week, and which Corey and Nicole will probably agree. Because we're working together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I just. I My heart can't take it. I mean, that's good though. If you. No, I don't want to be here without you. What am I going to do without you, James? You're going to win. James, I can't win this game. I can't win comps. They're all going to go against me. They're all going to target me next week. I'm going to be the easy target. There's going to be one more week with one easy person to go. And then I'm going to be without you. I'm scared. Hey, you'll be without me, if anything, for maybe a couple of days. Because they might have that, that, that Wednesday if somebody goes home. And if I, if I go home and you're behind me, I'll be waiting on you in Germany. No way. I mean, I honestly, I hope I don't see your face, to be honest with you. I'll do my best. I will do my best, but. Kiss butt. Do what you got to do. You know, you're, I think, um, uh, like, and honestly, I think Nicole knows that, which was my fault, that you wanted Corey out yeah. over Victor. Mm-hmm. Cause I sat at the table, so I know she remembers that in the back of her head. Mm -hmm. So if they win, they're putting me up. Well, you'll probably go up, but they'll go up. They one of somebody else has got to go up. So it's not like you'll be up by. Yeah, your... but they're gonna vote me out. They're all working together. They're gonna vote me out. Not if you win the veto. Look, you got two shots of winning the veto. You got a shot at winning this week and next week. That's two vetoes that you can play in. Yeah, but if I win this veto, I'm losing it on you. No, no, you're not. Yes, I am. You can't stop me. Yeah, I can, actually. I can not accept it. <laughs> but, yeah, I just want to let you know, Victor said he's going to have a talk with you if he decides to go that route, which he's going to go that route. I know that. Because, um, like, I told him, I said, listen, I'm, this ain't my first rodeo. Mm -hmm. and Paul, you can even stay in here because I know y'all are all connected. It's not mm -hmm. like you ain't going to go back and tell him he said, true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm like, bro, and then I just told him once, just like, you know, everything. And honestly, it felt good. It felt like I got a lot yeah. of shit off my chest, man. I was like, felt like I would, I don't know, all those secrets, secrets you know? I was just like, Phew. Whatever. I'm proud of you. So. I had a feeling you were going to talk to him while I was in the BR. Yeah, it was my only opportunity I felt like I had because I know Corey and Nicole were gonna do what they were doing and look what they're doing. So yep. um, they're they're nervous. I mean they they have no reason to be, but they're probably nervous of what I what I might have said, you know, what kind of information I'm mm -hmm. leaking, you know, because they know that our butts are on the line and we're gonna I'm gonna say something. Yeah, but they're gonna shit on us some more. Well they what are they gonna shit about that we wanted them out? Yeah, no duh. Victor knows that. We had a Final Four. I just told him that. Should have told us earlier. You know? Uh, you know, the only thing they can do, we did not have a Final Four with them. Which they're going to stick to. Yeah. Because we they're going to lie. We were just. Like, Corey in the kitchen said he doesn't throw comps, but he told us in the jacuzzi. He's like, I've been throwing comps all season. And he's like, I don't want to win a comp. I want, he's like, yeah. he's like, I throw comps left and right. He said that himself. James, you're my best friend. You're my soulmate. It's just, it sucks that this happened because I feel like obviously you deserve to win this game. 